All right, I want to go over this uh, practice problem we had, which is solving a multi-step inequality. Uh, a lot of you are struggling with this process, so I want to go over this in great detail. And it's just like solving an algebraic equation with one exception, and that is if we multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, then we will flip the sign, okay? So let's treat this just like an equation. What would you do first? That's right, we want, to, we want to use distributive property to remove the parentheses here. So let's do that. So I'm going to multiply negative 3 times x and negative 3 times 4. So I get 2x, right, just write that down, minus 3x, that's this first multiplication, minus 12, that's negative 3 times 4. And then minus 8 is less than or equal to 6. All right, what's our next step? Our next thing we want to do is we want to combine like terms on this left side of the inequality. Combine like terms. So 2x and negative 3x, you combine those, you add those up, you're going to get negative 1x. So negative x. I have negative 12 plus negative 8. Negative 12 and negative 8 is negative 20. Is less than or equal to 6. All right. Now, I want to get x by itself, so I want to move this negative 20. How do we do that? That's right, we add the opposite, so we want to add 20 to both sides. All right, so now we have negative x is less than or equal to 26. All right, I don't want negative x, I want 1x. So what are we going to do now? We are going to divide both sides by negative 1. You could also say you were going to multiply by negative 1 both sides. That would work as well. Again, if we multiply or divide both sides by negative, we are going to flip the sign. So this becomes x is greater than or equal to negative 26. All right. Some of you are okay with this part, and then you have a hard time. How do you show this as a graph? So we're going to make a generic number line here. In the middle, I'm going to put the dividing point. This is the dividing point, negative 26. All right. Then I'll put a number to the right and a number to the left. I'm going to just put zeros over here and maybe negative 50s over here. All right. You know, I get numbers that get bigger as you go right, get smaller as you go left. All right. So now when we go to graph this on the number line, we need to decide if it's an open point or a solid point. Since this is or equal to, that means the negative 26 is included in the solution. So we're going to use a solid point. So at negative 26, I'm going to put a solid point. Okay? If this is just greater than problem, not equal to, then it would just be, it would be an open point. Okay? To show that that's not part of the solution. So now the solution is either this side or this side. So you've got to ask yourself, what values of x are going to be greater than or equal to negative 26? Is it as you go to the left or as you go to the right? Well, think about it. Is negative 27 bigger than negative 26? No, it's smaller. Is negative 50 bigger? No, it's smaller. Is negative 20 bigger than negative 26? Yes. Is zero bigger than negative 26? Yes. Is a million bigger than negative 26? Yes. So the ray goes this way. So you go simple like this, and that's your solution graphically, right? That's just a ray going from negative 26 to infinity. All right, that's it. We need to keep working on these and get better at them.